how's it going? I'm just going to show you real quick how I got the Hammer Editor working on Steam Deck. Um, if you don't believe me, the Information Center, there we go. This is on a Steam Deck, and you know it's working through Proton because the Hammer Editor is not made for Linux, at least yet. I hope someday they do make it native. Um, but anyways, the way that I did this, it's pretty simple. It's basically the exact same way that you would do it on Linux. Um, I wrote up a little guide here, uh, so hopefully I don't forget anything. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is exit Steam entirely if it's still running. Um, if you see Steam here, it's still running. Um, you don't want to just hit the X icon because it will continue running in the background, so it won't do what we want it to do. But before we actually quit, um, if you don't have a keyboard on hand to connect to your deck, you're going to want to make a desktop file that will run Steam with the uh, console flag so that we can um, use the Steam console. So go ahead and open up your file manager, which is probably Dolphin. Um, and if you don't have it ticked, which most of the time you probably won't, then go here into the More Options menu and click Show Hidden Files. Uh, go to... I can't find it. Local, share, applications, and right click, click create, and link to application. You can call this whatever. Um, this is what it's going to be labeled in your um, uh, launcher. And I probably want to name this the same thing. Um, actually, I believe this is just the, the name of the desktop file. So this can be whatever. I believe this is what will show up in your launcher. You can add a description, a comment, whatever, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't really matter. The important part is that we have Steam console as the command. Work path doesn't really matter because Steam is accessible from anywhere. Um, so this is the one that I have here. Properties, application. As you can see, it does the exact same thing. It just says Steam console. So we're going to use this to launch Steam. And the reason we're going to do this is... Let's see. See how it does not say console right here? That is a problem for us right now, at least. So go ahead and hit Steam and hit Exit. Like I said, make sure it's entirely exited. Now... You'll notice your mouse cursor will probably stop moving once it completely exits. That's normal. Uh, the Steam Deck uses Steam to bind stuff to the controller. So after a few seconds, it will go back into um, like kind of a universal mode. It has slightly different controls than the you know what it has when Steam is open. But as you can see, Steam is no longer running in the background. Um, so you're going to use the triggers now for a left and right click bit different like I said um, but now we can go ahead and double click our desktop icon or because we put it in the uh, under this folder local share applications we can actually just go under here um, if we ever want to do this again it, I didn't give it a category I'm too lazy to it's not really that important but under lost and found you can find it right here steam console so go ahead and launch it and it'll launch just like normal steam but the big difference here, as you'll see once it starts up, is that we will have a console option. There we go, right next to our user, we will have a console option. And this is what we're going to be using for, where'd the guide go? We're going to use this to download the depot. Now, you can do this right now, I guess. There's not really a reason why not. Um, but you should also make sure that you have CSGO installed um, and the SDK installed. It's not insanely important that you do these beforehand, but you might as well. Um, obviously, to do that, you would just find CSGO and install it. If you don't already have this, the SDK installed, you might have to go up here and tick Tools to see it. If Tools is not ticked, it will not show up in your library, so you have to make sure Tools is ticked and then just install it like normal. Um, now, a recommendation that I have is to make sure that under the little cog icon and properties, go to compatibility, 
and force uh, the use of a specific tool. Now, I'm just using the latest stable version, uh, 7.0-3, because I know it works. If there's ever an update to Proton, like let's say they release a new version of Proton, if that version does not work for whatever reason, because I've told it to just use 7.0-3, it's not going to break. So that's why I say you should do that because, you know, who knows? Because this isn't an officially supported thing. So who knows if future Proton updates will break it. Um, and yeah, and then you might want to, like I said, check the tools if you have not seen it. Now, like I said, this is where you'll want to download the, the dependencies using that console window that we have now unlocked. So just, you know, paste that in there or copy it from what you just saw me doing and it'll download it to kind of a weird directory. So I will show you where that is. Again, make sure you have show hidden files enabled. Go to Steam, Steam, Ubuntu 12, uh, 32, the 32 bit version. Um, I believe it's Steam apps. Yeah, and then content, app uh, 730 and depot 732. And you'll find a bunch of dependencies that Hammer needs to run. Uh, so you're gonna need to copy these copy and then just go to your standard installation for CSGO. Now this I'm actually just going to do this because it's faster. Manage, browse local files and it'll bring me right there and then just go ahead and paste them in there. Now when you're prompted with this stuff the folders being put into other folders you do want to say write into you can just hit apply all and hit write into when it asks to overwrite things you can again say apply to all but you're going to want to skip overwriting files uh, the existing files that you have should be fine so there's no reason to overwrite any of them uh, but we do want to merge those folders so that you know we have the you know some of the windows dependencies that we're going to need like these dll's and uh, some exes and whatnot so now that that's done, um, I think we're good to go, actually. Uh, we're going to move them. Oh, and then just a quality of life thing. You're going to occasionally get, like, black windows and stuff. Uh, that's really annoying. So if you set Proton Use Wine D3D1 uh, in the launch options of the SDK, just go to Properties, and then just paste that into Launch Options. If you do that, it should reduce the amount of black windows that you'll get. Um, I think that's all. I mean, besides, you know, you might want to set up a custom controller layout. I have not done that because, you know, I, I haven't spent a lot of time doing this on my deck yet. Um, but, you know, if you want to do it on the go without a keyboard and mouse, then you'll probably want to do that. But it should be good to launch now. So I'm going to hit play. editor oops did I launch it twice I don't know who cares um I want to get rid of that steam notification so my it keeps giving me notifications go away and just load up an example here so the reason I'm using this example is to show you because one of the things I have noticed is the model uh, viewer will be one of those black boxes or like it looks normal for me because I've already done this but if you have not um, when it first starts up it'll probably look like really black everywhere and you can't really see anything simple fix for that is just to resize the window once you resize the window it will fix itself um, yeah and then you can pretty much just use it like normal to make a map and stuff you know let me just open up let's say open up inferno or something all right it's inferno now again i don't really have bindings set up for this yet so navigating is not going to be the easiest <laughs> you know i can look around 
Um, but yeah, it's it's the hammer editor, <laughs> and you know at least the stuff that I've tested so far works. I've done this on because my primary platform is Linux. I've done this on Arch Linux before on my main desktop, and it works just fine. I made an entire map, and it works. Um, so yeah, <laughs> um, I believe that's it. You know, yeah. So just like I said, I recommend if you're going to be doing this on the go, make a custom controller layout. But that's pretty much it. Um, I hope this is useful to somebody if they want to do this stuff on the go. Uh, yeah, peace out. <laughs>